If you spent money on Match, Tinder, OkCupid, and other popular dating sites, some of that cash was funneled into the campaign to eliminate abortion rights nationwide. Ah, that's right. As major corporations across the country pretend that they support women's reproductive rights, that they will pay for the travel costs to get their female employees out of the state to a blue state so she can get an abortion if she needs one. In reality, behind the scenes, they have been bankrolling the very politicians and very individuals who have chipped away at our rights, who have stripped women of their reproductive rights. And Judd Legum came correct with his reporting here on this issue. He has a newsletter called Popular Information, please check that out. But for now, let's take a look at the next video that gives us more details into how this happens, especially by these dating sites. Let's watch. Match Group, which owns Tinder and other leading dating sites, donated $137,000 to the Republican Attorneys General Association, known as RAGA. This money came directly from Match Group's corporate treasury. RAGA, in turn, played a central role in the Supreme Court case that just invalidated the constitutional right to an abortion. A member of RAGA, Mississippi Republican Attorney General Lynn Fitch, was in charge of the legal strategy behind Dobbs v. Jackson's Women's Health, the case that the Supreme Court used to overturn Roe v. Wade, which was the law of the land for almost 50 years. And Match Group, by the way, doesn't just stop there. They support all sorts of unsavory individuals, including Republicans who want to implement even more draconian laws against us. Let's watch. With Roe overturned, RAGA is using money from Match and other donors to further undermine abortion rights across the country. Republican attorneys general are already working to restrict access to abortion pills and prosecute people who assist women in obtaining abortions. RAGA is also spending to defeat attorneys general who support abortion rights. It's already reserved $682,000 in TV ad time to try to oust Wisconsin's attorney general, Josh Cole. Inexperienced, dangerous. Josh Call, wrong for Wisconsin. Wisconsin has an 1849 law on the books banning abortion, but Call said he won't enforce it. Raga is trying to replace Call with candidate Eric Tony, who has pledged to enforce the abortion ban if elected. The result could be a ban on abortion in Wisconsin without any legislative action. So John, there was a lot of positive press coverage when some of these companies came out and said that they would support their female employees, that they would pay for travel costs if necessary, so they can leave the state to go get an abortion in a state where they have much more liberal laws on reproductive rights. And it infuriated me because these are corporations who have funded these terrible politicians handsomely. Mm-hmm. Right, and in this case, we're talking about you know attorneys general and all of that. Uh, this is what's really going on. It's important for people to know that. Okay, these are not companies that are looking out for you. They're looking out for themselves, and they'll use any tragedy as an opportunity for a little positive PR push. Yeah, I I, I think it's a little in some cases a little bit complex, like. Um, you know, seeing that there are some corporations, like so, for instance, um, there were corporations who that directly said, and, and he actually on Popular Information was cataloging this, said, okay, uh, following the insurrection, we're not funding these candidates anymore. And then, mm-hmm. like six months later, they're like, no, we're totally going to start funding them again. That, that's, I think, a great example of the sort of thing that you're talking about. They pretend in the moment to care about this stuff, they don't. Um, in the case of like identifying the individual like companies that are owned by this conglomerate. Like it is possible that some of the execs at those lower down companies support this, but the the fact that they're owned by a company that funds it, like how much control of that? So I would I would I would want more information about that before I can say that I really blame them. Now identifying it can still be a useful tool if it leads to people putting pressure on them, and then perhaps that leads to a ripple effect that changes the corporate giving that they do to politicians, and also. 
even if the even if the corporations were consistent and they said we stand for reproductive rights and we're funding it, I still don't like that because I don't think that your healthcare should have anything to do with whatsoever with your job. I think we fundamentally need to break that. It's so weird that it's so closely tied together. I what don't do you want mean? I actually think it's great to have a system in place where if you are a woman who wants to practice your reproductive rights, you'd have to go to your boss. Typically, a male employee. Yeah. Like we are in America, after all, um, and you know, ask him for permission and and funding so you can travel out of state to get an abortion. Who doesn't want to tell their boss yeah. that they need an abortion? Yeah, that's great. Or the idea that someone could like like interview for a job and not get it, and that's gonna screw them when they're forced to give birth to their rapist baby later on. Like none of these things should be tied together, all of it is sick. And I'm glad that the judge, I mean, his beat is constantly corporate giving, basically, who they're funding and all that. It's just, I'm glad too that he identified there that they're now shifting, they had been funding to get Roe overturned, now they did that, now they can put their money on other things. Because it's a reminder to people that when the Republicans say, this is just about sending it back to the people and letting the states decide, that's just a slogan that they're using right now. They then are going to go and try to change all the laws at the state level and even worse than that, try to make it in whatever capacity they have. Um, to enforce the law outside of their own state borders. Like they are trying to make it so that if a woman leaves their state, has an abortion and comes back, that she can suffer uh, legal consequences as well. They don't give a damn about states' rights, they don't give a damn about the people. They will try to change the law in whatever arena they think they can win in. That's why they did it through the Supreme Court and not through you know the executive branch and legislative branch. They can't win those right now. So they went with the one that the structural impediments to democracy allowed them to dominate. Yeah, um, and look, I think Judd Legum's doing really great work in calling out uh, this issue because, again, we need someone to cut through the positive like press that these corporations get, mm -hmm. uh, just simply by virtue signaling. Like that's all they do; they engage in virtue signaling. Whether we're talking about uh, supporting Black Lives Matter, I mean. Do they really support Black Lives Matter? Do they really support what Black Lives Matter wanted to accomplish, which was police reform? Because if they did, they certainly have the money necessary to help fund that effort. Or do they just use that as an opportunity to do positive PR? You see the same, I think you see the same thing with reproductive rights. And you're right, corporations should not be in any way advertised as what will save us when we're going through a crisis. Mm -hmm. They're not interested in saving us. Most of the societal ills that we're dealing with in this country come from the fact that we have a political system that is corrupted through campaign donations by corporate interests. That is why there's a disconnect between our lawmakers and their own constituents. Their constituents are very clear about what they want. Their lawmakers give them the middle finger mm -hmm. because they're not representing their constituents. They're representing corporate interests that are bribing them through legalized bribes, but still bribing them. And then in addition to that, of course, they're personally invested in these companies by buying individual stocks. So they screw us in that way as well. Yeah. But it's just, they don't care about your reproductive rights. Corporations don't care about anyone's rights. They care about one thing and one thing only, period. What they care about is maximizing their profits because they literally have a fiduciary responsibility to do so, to care about nothing other than maximizing profits. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.